There's a lot of teams heading into the 2024 college football season with a shot to really make an impact. And there's teams that we are really unsure about. And it feels like the landscape of college football is changing right in front of our eyes. And college football seems very unpredictable right now. And one team that might be the most unpredictable team is Alabama. A lot of things have changed for Alabama football. And I wanted to talk about what I think about this Alabama team heading into 2024. But before I get into this video, be sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel because we upload daily college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. As most of you know, this is the start of a new era for Alabama football starting next season. Their legendary head coach Nick Saban recently retired. Nick Saban won six national champions at Alabama, and he helped lead this team to become one of the greatest dynasties in college football sports. And there's very few who can match a legacy like Nick Saban. And there's probably very few who have what it takes to follow in the shadow of Nick Saban and take over the head coaching job following the announcement of Nick Saban's retirement. We all know whoever took over this Alabama head coaching job would have a lot on their shoulder to carry for this team. And the expectations for Alabama football are going to be very high, like they always have been. Being good won't be tolerated, because being elite is all Alabama knows at this point. But the new head coach for Alabama football in 2024, and going forward, will be Kalen DeBoer. Kalen DeBoer just recently helped lead Washington to a national championship just this past season. He didn't end up winning the national championship, but he came close, and he did it with zero five stars on the team. And he helped build that Washington team up when they were 4-8 two seasons ago. Kalen DeBoer has been a winner everywhere he has gone. And he has an overall record of 104-12 in his coaching career. Not that many other coaches can do what Kalen DeBoer has done. And he's a winner at every level. And coaching in the South will be a new experience for him. But he could be the right guy for the Alabama head coaching spot. And I think Kalen DeBoer has potential to do great things at Alabama. Definitely with the resources he'll have to work with. I'm very interested to see what he can do at Alabama. And Alabama is probably the toughest role to fill in college football. No other team has had the success that Alabama has had. And Caleb DeBoer is down for the challenge. And I think he understands how much this Alabama head coaching job means. And he wants to help carry on the legacy and tradition of what Alabama football means. And I don't think we could have asked for a better time for a huge change like this. Nick Saban retiring was shocking to a lot of people. But with all the conference realignment and the 12-team playoff starting, and all the other stuff going on around the college football world, I think Nick Saban knew his time was up. And college football is going to be a lot different with Nick Saban gone. But I'm excited for next season. There's going to be so many new look matchups. And we will have the start of the first ever 12-team playoff. And maybe Kalen DeBoer will help keep this Alabama team on top. I truly don't know what's going to happen. But let's kind of go through the key losses and also the talent returning on this Alabama team. I'm going to dive in deep to this Alabama roster. And I'm going to talk about what's next for this Alabama team. Now let's start at the quarterback position, and at quarterback we should see Jalen Morrow starting. But watch out for transfer from Washington, Austin Mack, to get some reps. But Jalen Morrow is a guy that has gotten a lot of criticism, but I think he will be the starter. And I think he has a lot of potential, and he really does need to work on his accuracy, but he can also be dangerous with his legs, and he can throw the ball deep. And there's still room for him to grow as a leader and as a quarterback. But I think Kalen DeBoer could do a good job continuing to develop Jalen Morrow. And Jalen Morrow could be a dark horse to win the Heisman Trophy. The running back position for Alabama is going to be confusing. They lost their two best running backs, Jason McClendon and Roy Dow Williams. And I'm really not sure who will step up and become the running back for this team. Maybe Jam Miller is the guy to take the spot, but I'm really unsure. And if I have any Alabama fans down in the comments below, let me know who you think will start at the running back position next season. They also lost some key players at wide receiver. They lost their two best receivers, Jeremiah Burton and Isaiah Bond. And that's going to be very tough to lose that dangerous pair of receivers. But there's still a lot of talent on this team that can step up at receiver. And they did bring in four-star transfer receiver from Washington, Jeremy Bernard. But I'd say watch out for five-star receiver Ryan Williams to make an impact right away. It's going to be interesting to see because I don't know what to expect at receiver. But they do have a lot of talent who could step up. At tight end, they lost Amari Niblack, who was their best tight end. But they do have CJ Dupree returning at tight end. And he should play a huge role on this team. The offensive line could be a concern heading into 2024 with the guys they lost. They lost five-star offensive lineman Caden Proctor who went to Iowa. And they also lost a couple other decent offensive linemen. But as long as they have a center who can actually somewhat snap the ball well, then I think they could be better on the offensive line. So we shall see. There's definitely some holes on offense, but they have so much talent on that offense and I think they will be fine. On the defensive side, let's start off on the defensive line. I think Alabama should be pretty good on the defensive line. They lost some guys, but nothing that will really hurt them too bad. They have guys returning who can help out that defensive line. 
and they also brought in a solid defense alignment from Texas A&M, and I think the defense line could be very solid. At linebacker, they did lose a bunch of talent, but they are returning Deontay Lawson, who was a big factor to the defense this last year. They did lose Dallas Turner and Chris Braswell, so that will be hard to recover from. But despite a bunch of players leaving, this team is still deep on talent, and I'm probably not mentioning a bunch of the recruits coming in either. But let's kind of finish this roster preview by looking at the secondary. They lost so much talent in the secondary. I mean, the list is real long, and I'll name a few. They lost all SEC safety Caleb Downs, who transferred to Ohio State after his freshman year. They lost one of their top cornerbacks as well, Kool-Aid McKinstry. They also lost Trey Amos. They lost a bunch of talent in the secondary. But they did bring in Domani Jackson from USC, and he could fill a huge role in the secondary, and he's a four-star transfer. They also will return Malachi Moore. I feel like this roster is all over the place. There's so many guys leaving, and this will be a very new-look roster. They still have a top recruiting class, though, and they have a bunch of talent who could step up. And I'm excited to see what this team can do. I don't think we realistically know what to expect from Alabama football. Yes, the roster probably doesn't have as much talent as it usually would have heading into 2024, but Kalen DeBoer will be in year one at Alabama. And he helped lead Washington to a national championship with zero five stars on the team, and he had very little resources to work with. So all I'm saying is don't count out Kalen DeBoer to make an impact at Alabama and possibly win a national championship within the next five years. And if Kalen DeBoer can adapt to Alabama football and start becoming an elite recruiter, then this team can be very dangerous. And this may just be the next chapter of elite Alabama football. Maybe they do go downhill from here, but I just don't see this team completely falling off. And I think they will be able to make some noise because, like I said, Kalen DeBoer has proved himself as a winner everywhere he has coached. And Alabama may just be his next step to cementing his legacy as an elite coach. I say give Kalen DeBoer time and we will see what happens. But I see Alabama being a very good team. But I think year one will help us determine a lot more about Kalen DeBoer and the new chapter of Alabama football. I don't see Alabama winning a national championship in year one with Kalen DeBoer. It's going to be a huge change for Kalen DeBoer. But a couple years down the line, I would not be surprised if Kalen DeBoer and Alabama won a national championship. I think Alabama has potential to stay at the top and still be considered one of those elite teams of college football. Next year will determine a lot of things, and it will probably be the most challenging year for Kalen DeBoer coaching in his whole career. But if he can get through the first bump on the road, then I think we see some amazing things happen at Alabama football. Kalen DeBoer is going to get all the criticism in the world, but it will come down to how he responds to the criticism. And I say let it play out, and we'll see what happens. There's a lot of people saying Alabama will no longer be great, and that their time is up. There's going to be a lot of competition in the SEC. We're seeing other teams like Missouri, Ole Miss, and Texas really trying to become one of those elite teams, and they are on the rise. But maybe Alabama's time isn't up yet. Regardless of what happens, I'm excited to watch SEC football next season. Because believe it or not, this might be the most open the SEC has been in a very long time. And I can say it over and over again, but the landscape of college football is truly changing. And Alabama football is completely changing. But that doesn't mean they won't be elite anymore. I guess we'll see what happens next year. I say watch out for Georgia, Texas, Alabama, and Ole Miss. Those are the most interesting teams to me heading into next season. And I really don't know what to expect from Alabama, but I can't predict them to be much worse. But anyways, that's going to do it for the video. You guys let me know your thoughts on Alabama football down in the comments below. But before you click off the video, be sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. And turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel. Because we upload daily college football content. And we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But anyways, that's going to do it guys. And peace out.